believe it's going to be gas. Affirmative, I can hear the hissing. Tonight, a house explosion early this morning, shaking a Shelby County neighborhood. We now know two people and their pets were inside that home and killed in that explosion. Now we want to show you video. This is drone video of the scene. You can actually see here that or actually right here is two cars parked in the driveway and really truly nothing left of that home after that explosion. Eli Burgett was at the scene this morning and for the very first time tonight we are hearing the 911 calls and the reactions from neighbors. <laughs> That is, yeah. It was a glowing fireball. And again, it looked like it was right there in my neighborhood. That's how big it was. At 2.05 a.m., Andrew Jimenez and his wife were woken up by the sound of a massive explosion. Despite living several houses down, Andrew says it sounded like it was right there on his front yard. He, along with his fellow neighbors, immediately called 911. Hi, I'm at 17250 Sharp Road. And we just heard an explosion, and there's a ginormous fire. Looks like it's coming from the house beside us. Way out on uh, Sharp Road, our next door neighbor's house blew up. Neighbor's house. There's a, I can only see part of it, but there's a large fire. Several different agencies responded to the explosion, and they immediately started evacuating neighbors from their homes. So we're going to evacuate here, okay? Do you have anybody else inside? No, it's me, my mom, and my brother. Okay. Yep, we're going to get them out. We're going to get you guys out. The sheriff's office tells us that 57-year-old Sherry Tracy and 56-year-old Thomas Tracy Jr. died in the explosion, along with their two dogs. According to the auditor's website, the couple had lived in that home for over 20 years. Usually when I walk by here, I see them out with their dogs and stuff. Um, you know, I, I, out working on the yard. They, I know they just did some work around the yard and stuff. Uh, probably, not a, probably not a good situation. A preliminary investigation shows that the house's propane tank may have caused the blast. From this point forward, the Ohio State Fire Marshals will be handling the investigation of the explosion. We will bring you any new information on air and online at Dayton247now.com. Back to you.